a sandwich to start the month and also to start the week because on the 1st of October 2023, the icy hands of death touched two people. The former First Lady of Ghana, Teresa Kufour, she has passed away and also the former MP for Ningo Pram Pram before Sam George came. That's E.T. Mensa has also passed away. I have the full details on what happened to them, how long they lived, what they've been up to, and what led to their demise, and stuff like that. I'm the headless YouTube, but then headless reactions. I'm not Yanko! So, 1st October 2023, while Nigeria was celebrating their Independence Day, a sad news broke that the former First Lady Teresa Abakufo has died. As Sassi Radio broke the news, and this is what they said. She died today, Sunday, 1st October 2023. That was when it was published. Teresa Abakufo um, was born on 25th October 1935. She was a retired nurse and midwife. Now, if you check the OE online, there are two different dates. Because some articles are saying she was born on December 18th. 1937 and then other articles are saying she was born on uh, October 25, 1935. So now these two days are conflicting but okay, let's just go with Asasi Radio's uh, publication. This is what they said. Mrs. Teresa Abakufo, wife of the second president of the Fourth Republic of Ghana, former president John Ajekum Kufo, has died at the age of 88. A source close to the Kufo family has confirmed to Asasi News. She died on Sunday, 1st October 2023, 24 days to her 89th birthday. Oh, which is the 25th October. She would have been 89 years. So she died at 88 years. Teresa Kufo was born on 25th October 1935. She was a retired nurse and a midwife. Her husband, former president John Ajokun Kufo, was at home when his wife, whom he has been married to for over 60 years, died. Mrs. Kufo has not been well in recent years. Incidentally, President Nana Kufuado had traveled to the mountains to pay a visit to the former president and her passing is said to have happened shortly before the president's arrival. So that means Nana was on his way to go and visit. He was going to the mountains, Pediate, that side, no. When he got to around Medina, almost getting to a Adenta barrier, then the thing happened. So when he got there, they said, oh, if not for some small traffic that maybe delayed you, Inka, you would have met her, or you would have heard her final words. So sorry. Mrs. Kufo played a significant role during her time in office, and leaves behind a legacy of grace and dedication to the people of Ghana. She was a devout Roman Catholic as well. So at this point today, the nation is in mourning. She had five children with John Kufo and they are Jay Ado Kufo, um, Nana Ama Jemfi, Sa Kufo, and Ejekum Kufo, and Ousu Efiye Kufo. She therefore died a mother of five and a grandmother of eight. Hmm. Despite being the first lady of Ghana for eight years between 2001 and 2009, she has managed to maintain a low profile in the political arena. And that is true because this lady is like she doesn't like trouble. She is one of the few a first ladies that you will not even hear of. We know somebody like a um, Nana Kunedra Jimba Rollins. She the first lady that everybody knew. But Madame Teresa Kufo is the most popular first lady. Okay, now another sad news that happened on the 1st of October was the demise of former Ningo Pram Pram MP, E.T. Mensa. Also died at age 77. Now before we get into the details of his demise, in case you are in the diaspora, and you, have, you know you work two jobs, three jobs, you've been going for your shifts and stuff like that and you need a job that you can be earning money remotely. You can be at home on your phone, on your laptop or on your tablet and then you just set
set up your marketing, digital marketing, and earn money. Then Nanama Safwa is telling you that she got you. Just visit www.nsafwanana.com or you can dial the phone number on the screen and you talk to her. She'll give you the steps to go through to set up your own digital shop where you can be earning money through digital marketing. Fine, 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 fine. Nanama Safwa and she is the sponsor of this video. So yes, contact her right now and get yourself sorted for an extra revenue stream with no stress. Yan Twaso, this is from City News. Former Ningo Pram Pram MP E.T. Mensa dies age 77. Former member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram constituency and council of state member E.T. Mensa has died at age 77. City News understands he died in South Africa last night, which was a 1st October. He died um, after battling illness for some time. Now this comes on the back of the demise of former First Lady Teresa Kufo on the same Sunday, October 1, 2023. Enoch Mensa, popularly known as E.T. Mensa, was born on 17 May 1946. He was a Minister of Education and a Member of Parliament in Ghana from January 1997 till January 2017. He was popularly referred to as E.T. Mensa and was married with seven children. During his time, or during the time of the PNDC military regime in Ghana, he was the long-time chief executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, AMA, akin to being the mayor of the city of Accra. He joined the National Democratic Congress when it was formed in 1992. He, was, he also stood for the parliamentary election in 1996 and was elected MP for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency, holding the seat for almost a decade. After the NDC lost in the 2000 elections, he continued to be a member of parliament. Mensah lost the NDC primaries to Sam George on 21st November 2015. He once served as the minority chief whip in parliament prior to the Ghana parliamentary elections in 2008. In January 2009, he became the minority chief whip in parliament. Now, this man has also lived a full life and... <laughs> To have them die on the same day is very sad. I mean, E.T. Mensa, 77 years, and also Madame Teresa Kufo also died at 88 years. So yes, these are the two funerals, or the two bad news that have um, plagued Ghana. And this, all this happened on the same day, Sunday, October 1, 2023. So yes, this is it. it's sad news, but... Life still goes on, at least 77 and 88 years. It's not bad. We Attend just, to know, bang. Adam, to our culture, our heritage. And also to all sympathizers and well wishes. Sorry. And sorry from Koto Nation. And I don't know. So, yes, this is the sad news that we are beginning the month and the week with. But hopefully, we'll get some news that will cheer us up. And so, yes, if you heard it, it has happened. Now, to those of you who have been posting on Facebook, posting on WhatsApp status, all those things, you go and post a year there that Kufo. Everybody knows that she was the former a first lady. Then you go and post her picture and say, Rest in peace, Teresa Kufo. I like your movies. I like your song. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> on social media. That's all I have to say. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Daddy! So thanks a lot for staying true to this uh, particular point of this video or to the end of this particular video with you. My name is Aten and at this juncture, all I can say is Demi and rest in peace to the demise. And to the family of the demise, all I can say is uh, take heart. The deed has already been done and God knows why. He give it and he take it. There is this popular saying that uh, that is indeed a phenomenon being that has no respect for the elderly, let alone to talk about the poor and old aged in our societies today. If today is your first time on this channel, kindly do what to hit the subscribe button, do what to like, share and comment your thoughts in the comment section. And after subscribing, do not forget to turn on the post notification bell to be notified anytime I release a new video. Should in case you need a flutist for your programs, kindly do what to contact me. My contact is on the screen. 
Take my contacts and call me. My name is Atente Bedem and I'm out.